Hello, I'm Sunil. Welcome to this demonstration video. I'll be talking about two sample Android apps developed using Android Studio. So let's take a look at the apps. This app is called Android Video Player and plays a short video. The video controls are similar to a tape player and slightly differ from the YouTube controls that are on the video frame itself to demonstrate the toast on click button help feature and how you can control the video using the various buttons. The following are the buttons. Start stop, play, pause, rewind, fast forward and volume control. I click to start the video. Notice the toast on click description of the button. The video starts to play. I can pause the video. Clicking play resumes the video. Rewind to the beginning. Or rewind fast forward to the end. Let's look at the design aspects of the app in Android Studio. First, we look at the layout of the app. Here, in Activity Main, we see the relative layout as a container for all the components such as the various text views, that describe the video being played, the video view that hosts the video, the various image button controls, and a special text area to display a message that I'll talk about later. Each of the image button controls specifies a callback method looking at the callback method we see that we have code to create and display the toast on click feature. Now let's look at the JNI aspects of the app. The Android video player activity main module depends on a C++ module which is loaded on startup. When the main app class loads, we also load the native library. Next. When the app initializes, the onCreate callback is invoked and we call a native method string from JNI. The string from JNI is a native method The native method declares a message string and invokes a non-static method on the main class to set the string. The non-static method on the main class is the set text view string method. And sets the string onto the special text area that I mentioned earlier. Let's look at the CMake build system. The CMake list.txt file describes the dependencies and rules to specify how the native li library is built and linked. Here we see that the native library is dependent on the log library and is linked in. To summarize, we saw the following features. Android Video Player app, video controls,
use a relative layout and view components post on click feature the GNI module and callback methods that completes the video describing this app thanks for watching the next app that we look at is called Android GL Shapes and features the usage of OpenGL 2.0 Java and JNI calls to draw basic shapes on the screen as you're going to witness. There you go. The app draws basic square and a triangle. Let's look at the design aspects of the app in Android Studio. First, we'll look at the layout of the app. Here in Activity Main, we see a linear layout and a GL surface view. The GL surface view of class Android GLs for Surface View is cr created and initialized in the main class. The Android GL Surface View extends GL Surface View and internally uses a renderer called the Android GL Renderer to render the square and the triangle onto the GL Surface View. The Android GL Renderer class instantiates a square and a triangle The square and the triangle classes during initialization initialize the GL draw routines. The Android GL Renderer also loads the native library Renderer lib during startup. The Renderer lib native library is dependent on another li native library, the triangle-lib that it delegates to to draw the triangle. As you can see in the CMake list file, the renderer lib is dependent on the triangle lib. And all the rules for building the two libraries individually are listed in the CMake list file. After initialization, the Android GL renderers on draw method is invoked. And the square draw method is called, which actually draws the square using Java OpenGL calls. Next, a native method draw triangle is invoked to begin drawing the triangle from JNIC. This is the native method that actually implements the delegation of the triangle drawing from within the renderer. As you can see here, we get reference to the draw method of the triangle and invoke the draw method on the triangle within the renderer. This call invokes the draw method on the triangle class. Let's look at the triangle class. The triangle class has a native module, triangle lib, that is loaded upon first reference. When the draw me method is invoked from the Android GL renderer native GNI library that we just talked about, the draw method in, in turn delegates to another draw native method declared within the triangle class.
the draw native method is implemented in JNI C++ and passes all the required arguments to initialize the GL OpenGL drawing system. The draw native function in C++ actually creates the program for drawing using various OpenGL calls and actually draws the triangle as you can see in these method invocations. That completes this video. Thanks for watching.